Hi folks, this is Dan Zorn, the superintendent of the Longview Public Schools, here with Superintendent Storytime this week. This week we're, uh, we're live from the North Lake School Garden um, that's run by the Lower Columbia School Gardens and just a wonderful place. And our, our story today is called Mrs. Spitzer's Garden. It's written by Edith Patu and illustrated by Tricia Tusa. This is just a real cool metaphor um, for the work of a teacher. And so I hope you like it. It's one of my wife's favorite books. She shared it with me. My wife's been a teacher for quite some time. And I thought with this being the second day of school, it was a pretty fitting story for us to read today. So again, this is Mrs. Spitzer's Garden. Mrs. Spitzer is a teacher. She is in room 108 of Tremont Elementary School. Inside room 108 are six tables, four circles, and two rectangles. There is a rug in one corner with real hopscotch squares and checkerboards woven in bright colors. There is also a size chart, a birthday chart, a gerbil in a cage, a housekeeping and dress-up corner, a row of 22 pegs for coats and backpacks, and in another corner, Mrs. Spitzer's desk. At the end of summer, Mr. Merrick, the principal, walks down the hall to Mrs. Spitzer's room and gives her a packet of seeds. Mrs. Spitzer consults her calendar and plans her daily schedule. She checks her tools. She makes sure the soil is, a, is a right, light, and well-drained with plenty of room for sprouting. Then Mrs. Spitzer plants the seeds. She waters them, feeds them, and makes sure they get plenty of sun. The seeds, well, the seeds begin to sprout. As the plants grow, Mrs. Spitzer watches them closely. She checks daily for weeds and pests. She knows that different plants need different things and that each plant has its own shape. Some of the plants grow quickly, pushing upward, eager, impatient. Some grow more slowly, unfolding themselves bit by bit. Some plants sprout thin and tall. Some are bushy and wide spreading. They are bold, showy. They are brightly colored, saying, look at me. Some are silvery and quiet, the color of the earth. A few are like wildflowers and will grow anywhere you put them. And some need gentle care, a special watching over. As the seasons change, Mrs. Spitzer tends her garden. And then the year is over and her job is done. But the plants will keep growing, uncurling their stems, stretching their leaves outward, and showing their faces to the sun. Mrs. Spitzer will put away her tools, her daily calendar, and her plan book, but soon another year will start, and Mr. Merrick will once again walk down the hall with a packet of seeds for Mrs. Spitzer. She will dust off her tools, till the soil, and a new garden will begin. So there you have it, that's Mrs. Spitzer's garden, perhaps the perfect story for the first day of school. Um, just wanna thank all our teachers out there who are just doing a great job of taking care of our kids here and making this school year a great year for them. This is Dan Zorn, a superintendent of Longview Public Schools, where literacy is the most important thing we do.